the brain is a magnificent device. I might not have the same scientific appreciation for it as certain friends of mine, but I do enjoy stimulating it with strange things, like Space Ghost and the comedy of Ben Bailey, and psychedelic indie puzzle games that at least claim to be about connecting neurons. I'm fairly certain neurons aren't spaced out this regularly, but the general idea seems to be constant. Make connections, eventually clear neurons from the playfield by joining them all to a glowing white neuron, continue on. At least, I think. The tutorial very much follows the old axiom, show, don't tell, and simply demonstrates the gameplay non-interactively. I learned the game, but not the specific mechanics, and certainly none of the terminology. There are three game modes, timed three and five minute challenges, and a survival mode where completing links awards more time. Using either a cursor or a free-floating pointer, if you so prefer, you draw sequential connections between neurons of the same color. The more connections you draw, the more points that cluster will eventually be worth. While connections can't traverse huge distances or cross through other nodes or connections, they can loop back on themselves and create circuits, before branching off and creating other circuits, with each having a multiplicative effect. I love that word. A couple loops and you've turned a cluster of 8 or 10 neurons into 60 or 70 points, which, once the gray matter hits that line dividing the playfield from the score, gets converted into fuel for the trance gauge. What happens when the trance gauge engages? Yep, the entire playfield begins to glow red and all neurons are considered the same color, allowing you to rack up massive combos. Unfortunately, if you're like me, and neglect the actual lose conditions of the game, you let an uncleared neuron hit that aforementioned line and BAM! Game over. I don't believe I've ever said this about any other game, but I actually want this on my phone. The mechanics seem to be perfectly conducive to a touchscreen, as anyone who's unlocked an Android device can attest, since the only non-cursor control you have to worry about is the occasional use of the right bumper to accelerate the flow of neurons. As an XBLA indie title, it's certainly not bad, especially since it's only a buck, but it seems less like the kind of meditative experience I prefer to have on a console, see Mega City, and more like something I can poke at while standing in line at the DMV. Still, it pokes all the right sensory receptors and stimulates the gray matter as a whole, and if I've misused any terminology, please go easy on me. Thank <laughs> you.